when I came from home, I didn't know it was gonna rain. I'm so bad when it comes to checking the weather. So I didn't realize it was going to rain. I just put on my shorts. But luckily, uh, I have some shoes that I put in my trunk so that if it's raining, I just uh, take them with me on the truck. So I just changed my shoes. The ones that I had on were not really good for the rain. I have ones that are good for the rain. But I was pre-planned to go do a load. Um, I already have two loads on me. One is a drop in uh, Grand Prairie and another one is a pickup from, I believe it's Dallas. But while I was in the office, something came up. So right now, as you can see, I'm in the company Katasika. I have to rescue a driver that has run out of hours. So I'm just going to go. Um, I think she's in somewhere like Arlington. No, she's in Fort Worth, about 20 miles away from here. I'm going to go get into her truck, give her this car so that uh, she can drive this back here. And then I will take her load to the rail, bring back her truck, get into my truck and then go do my load. So let me go pick her up. I'm on the 156, but really this part of the 156 is more like a surface street. But from the time I got onto it, we are just crawling in traffic. I, um, I'm guessing maybe because of the rains and it being a Friday. I wonder how the freeways are, because if the surface street is this bad, hopefully the freeways are not bad. Especially when I'm coming back, I don't know how the freeway is going to be like. But the good thing is I can use the express lane. I've been able to locate her now when they were giving me her location they missed out one very important detail they just gave me the address to the shell and they told me she was just across from the shell so I came from uh, the west side coming east I got off cook I went where the shell was and I was looking around it to see where she was she wasn't there so I figured I should come on this side. So as I was coming on this side, I decided to also look on, on the freeway. And sure enough, I saw the truck on the freeway. So I had to go find a street, go down that street, find another street, and then come from the east side going west. Uh, now I've been able to locate her. So uh, I don't know what's wrong, probably maybe her tire i don't see them changing a the tire but i know there is a, a service truck so i'm gonna find out what's uh, what's wrong with the truck and then as soon as they are done with her i'll get out of here and there is some heavy traffic looks like it's moving it's slow but it at least it's moving so hopefully it doesn't take me long so it turns out the problem was with the tire i think she had a tire failure and so luckily uh, they just finished fixing it so i'm good to go i'm just gonna log into her truck we use the same key like our trucks use the same key her truck is 356-994 mine is 356-944 it's funny when you get into somebody's truck and it's almost like you're trying to figure out where is this thing where is this uh, yet it's the same truck as my truck but i'm like uh where are the 
mirror warmers where is this where is that it kind of looks funny but i'm all set i'm ready to go so let's get out of here so i'm done with uh, the assignment it's taken me roughly i'll say three hours uh, to complete the assignment um now i'm not sure if at the end of this assignment um i'm making more money less money or roughly the same amount of money um i have a feeling i may be making a little bit less but regardless of whether i make less um i think it's just a couple of bucks and honestly um the fulfillment i get from doing things like this is um is worth it for me so i'll I would gladly do it again ju just to give up a few bucks and by fulfillment I mean I like the fact that it's out of the usual you know like go hook to a trailer and drop and all that stuff so drive to highlighted route. Uh, come on keep quiet so the fact that it's uh, something out of the usual thing that I do I love that and so um, I'm willing to give up a few bucks just for me to get something that is out of the ordinary. I love the fact that I was able to help out um, a driver. I don't know how her day was, so I don't know if my taking her a car was able to make her day a little better. So if it was able to make her day a little better, I love that part of it. And just to be a team player, uh, hopefully my managers appreciate the fact that uh, when they want me to step in and help i am i'm readily available so to me that's part of being a team player so the fulfillment i get out of these assignments when i'm given such assignments um, i love them because uh, it's something out of the usual thing that i do so uh, i love it so i'm glad i did it and i'm sure if i'm losing money it's just a couple of bucks and there's also a chance that it's even a little bit more but from what i'm thinking it may be it may be a little bit less but i'm i'm just the fulfillment i get out of it is worth more than the few dollars that i may be losing anyway i'm done with that they've taken the first load i was gonna do they've taken that off of me so right now i'm gonna look for an empty go do a pickup out of dallas